Okay, good afternoon. You join me here at Sunshine Coast Airport for a flight to Port Macquarie <laughs> uh, with Bonza Airlines. I was originally supposed to be on the Newcastle flight today, but thanks to traffic, love it, I've had to reorganise the flight. Um, currently it's just after two o'clock and my original flight was meant to leave at quarter to two and I, however, thanks again to traffic, did not arrive at Sunshine Coast Airport until literally about ten minutes ago. Uh, so yeah, the flight left without me. Oh well. A different flight, different destination. Got a few hours to kill before I catch the flight, so I'm going to go into the terminal and have a relax. Enjoy the video. Okay, inside uh, Sunshine Coast Maruchidor Airport in the uh, observation area. However, um, pretty incorrectly named. You can't see much through here. There's um, buildings and stuff in the way. However, it's a nice little airport. Um, security seems a bit inefficient on a day like today. We've you know, got a lot of people coming through. We're having only one lane open. That honestly. I don't know, not very good, but hey, they're doing their best, and I will always take my hat off to airport security. They're doing an amazing job keeping us safe. Anyway, just got a few hours to go until my flight leaves uh, for Port Macquarie. Just a few minutes after scheduled time of boarding, we went through the temporary gate and proceeded onto the tarmac towards our aircraft. Our aircraft today was a four-year-old Boeing 737 MAX 8, delivered new to Bonza in December 2022, having not been taken up by lot Polish Airlines.
And now a brief word from our sponsor. My sponsor today is an author, Lucky Ducky, uh, who has written two books in a series so far, Sierra's Outdoor Adventures. Books one and two available online as ebooks now. Please visit the Facebook group, Lucky's Book Collection, for links and more information. There will be more books to come in the series, and I, for one, am certainly excited to see what happens. After a short taxi takeoff roll and climb out, we turned slightly towards the north and headed out over Sunshine Coast's beautiful beaches in a stunningly cloudy southeast Queensland evening. I had chosen tonight were cheddar cheese balls and a cola. Now the cheese balls themselves were rather interesting and a cola as usual from Saxby's is delicious. A short time after I changed seats and sides of the aircraft, we encountered a bit of turbulence. Uh, it was a bit more than I expected, and I ended up having to steady my drink. I wasn't exactly sure what to make of the power outlets in the back of the seat, but hey, I'm just happy that they have them. Sort of took me by surprise was one of the overhead baggage bins had opened during the landing. I've never seen that before and if you guys have please feel free to comment it in the section below. I'd love to know about it. Shortly after we stopped it came time to disembark. Cabin crew said see you later and little did they really know that it would be very much sooner rather than later that they saw me.
Port Macquarie Airport. I've seen a few small airports in my time and I think this one actually takes a cake. I mean, it is absolutely tiny. But hey, it serves its purpose. And from the lounge you can actually see quite well the uh, parking bay areas for the planes. For the few that actually do come in here through the day. Oh well, very soon time to get back on board. Bonds is 737 Max 8, back to the Sunshine Coast. After only a brief stay on the ground, it was time to reboard the aircraft back towards the Sunshine Coast. As this was a return flight, the aircraft that we used was the exact same as the one on the way down. And now another brief word from our sponsor. The books I mentioned earlier in the video, Sierra's Outdoor Adventures, are children's books and are great to keep the young ones occupied on journeys such as this one. Uh, if you search on Facebook for Lucky's Book Collection for more books and more information, you'll be doing both me and my good friend, the author Lucky, a huge favour if you do. After we entered and backtracked to the runway for departure, we powered into the beautiful nighttime New South Wales skies. The flight time tonight was 56 minutes, cruising at 31,000 feet. Tonight for my meal I ordered sweet chili chicken wraps, a lemonade, fava beans and some very nice chocolate chip cookies. The wraps themselves were absolutely delicious. Not too spicy but very flavourful. Once again we encountered some turbulence, however not as bumpy as the previous flight. Yeah, but
the fares each way were $44 including the cost of selecting a seat which works out to 14 cents per mile or 8 cents per kilometer. Overall I'm going to give the flight 5 out of 5. Uh, value is incredible. On time performance was really really good. Onboard service absolutely impeccable. So I just cannot fault them at all. Alright, made it back to the Sunshine Coast. Um, both flights, absolutely fantastic. Cannot fault them at all. Um, food on board, absolutely stunningly good. Overall, I'm going to give both flights 5 out of 5. Absolutely perfect, and honestly, I think Bonds is my new favourite airline. You just can't beat all Aussie food, drinks, etc. And what I didn't notice until this flight, this last flight, was the soft drinks on board are no sugar. I didn't notice that, and obviously, honestly, Coke, Pepsi, Schweppes, all others who do the sugar-free versions of the your soft drink, take note, Saxby's is the way to do it. They, they are the ones that know how to make sugar-free drink. Anyway, thanks for watching. And as usual, I will see you in the next one.